All right, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Call of the Night episode 11. In the last episode, we had Ko, Nazada and Midori, I believe her name is, um, were kind of working a shift or, or two, I don't know, uh, at a maid cafe. Uh, obviously Midori's kind of normal place of employment. Uh, we also had another girl who was working there who was not a vampire. Um, would turn out that she was kind of just really kind of after attention, which that's fair enough. Um, she didn't really harm anyone by doing it. It was just kind of really for herself. Um, obviously, she was just kind of jealous of the fact that Midori was getting more attention than she was in this place. Um, but she's still a nice person. Um, she wasn't spiting Midori or anything like that. Um, but yeah, um, very, excited by, bleh, very excited for this episode. So as, so as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. An actual bed? A lamp? Wait, what was that? Hang on, go back. What's that on the bottom shelf, Nazana? I'm not going to question it. Money is so awesome. Ah, okay. And she's got cosplays and stuff. Would it not be better to have Nazana do this instead of a 14-year-old boy? Who is this woman? It definitely sounded like you were hitting on her. Yeah, you just accept that? You can't tell this is a child? You smoking inside of a cafe? Is that normal? Lady, how old are you? It's a little sketchy. I don't think she would have cared. Apparently she was down for it, bro. The labor standards law? Bro, you said some sketchy shit in the last 10 minutes. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't base my decisions based on law, okay? Pros and cons of that, I suppose. Yeah, just have Nazana go out and do the soliciting. God damn. I wonder what she does. Detective. That's cool. Conan con. <laughs> nice. Bro, her, her job must be hella stressful then. She smokes a lot too. Oh! Old vampire dude. She knows you're lying. Terrible poker face, Ko. She's checking your pulse. Bro, she's got you. Is that 5,000 yen? Lady, how old are you? I mean, I would hit on her. But he's 14. <laughs> She's such an old woman. I was just like, oh, where's he going to get booze from? Then I realized he can just get them from vendor machines. God damn, Japan. Hey, whole squad's here. Let's go. Sneak in. Okay. Oh, when he puts it like that, I've got to do it. <laughs> Did Ko just go ahead and do it? Okay, Ko, you're athletic, athletic as hell. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Are the doors just going to be open? Yep. Okay. I think I've said this multiple times in other videos, but schools at night, terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I don't know what it is. Long hallways and shit. <laughs> this guy's so funny. He's always like, oh, there's a ghost girl in the end toilet or something like that. <laughs> She's going to hit you again, bro. <laughs> yeah, all these fucking mysteries are bullshit. This is so nice. Like, the, the way Mahiru just brings them together like this, and it's just so calm and, like, fun. Ooh, I wonder if it was to do with a vampire or something. Yeah, these two just aren't bothered. What the fuck? Who are you? 
<laughs> They're all gonna freak. At first I was thinking like, oh, it's a teacher, it's a janitor, but why the f why would he be walking through the tables? Dude? What the fuck? What is going on with this dude? Is he a zombie? R Paging Nazana, hello? Bro, what the fuck? Go! Summon Nazana! Is this a vampire? Oh, it is a vampire, he's got fangs. Oh god, I hope to, nothing happens to Mahiru or something. This is like a deranged vampire. Is this what happens to someone who doesn't suck blood, maybe? Oh. Is this a detective? Is the detective a vampire? So it seems like someone that doesn't actually want to suck blood or anything like that. Hey, yo. What is going on? What's with her blood? She's a vampire, and that's what happens when you suck another vampire's blood, right? Damn. Ten years about sucking blood. Ooh, this is a flip of perspective now for Ko. Oh, bro, what if it was Nazana that did it? This is so fucked up. He probably fell in love with someone and they never told him. Ooh, which woman? Is this like a vampire's weakness or something? What is it, silver? Are we actually going to see a vampire burn up? Is this like the catalyst? What makes them burn up is holding the silver or whatever? Bro. She was partly holding it there as well. Wait, is she a vampire or? Bro, Ko, she's spitting here. Clearly we don't know enough about vampires. So what was wrong with her blood? Is she a vampire or she did, did she do something to her blood to make her make it like so vampires don't like the taste? Okay, so that was episode 11 of Call of the Night. Very good episode right there. Definitely a kind of perspective changer for Ko. Um, living the life as a vampire ain't all peachy, whatever. Um, yeah, there's some dark shit going on right here. The fact that that guy lasted 10 years without um, without sucking any, anyone's blood. It's, it's kind of heartbreaking the fact that he was put through that and he probably didn't even want it to happen. Well, he clearly didn't even want it to happen. Didn't even know... You know, the person he was in love with was a vampire. Um, yeah, this uh, detective woman's very interesting. Um, is she kind of uh, a vampire hunter altogether? Yeah, is it just certain vampires? You know, people who didn't choose to be a vampire? Um, is that why she was interested in Akun? Um, I don't know. Is she a vampire herself? Lots and lots of questions about her, but she seems like a very cool character. Very good episode, and I loved when it kind of changed to like that grey mat uh, towards the end there, when the situation kind of flipped on its head. Um, yeah, very good episode. Definitely excited for the next one. As always, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode and my reaction to it. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out, guys. <laughs>